Hi, welcome to the Jansen Art Studio. I'm David Jansen, and I'd like to take just a couple minutes to show you how to transfer some of your files, some video files or from uh, your notebook or something that you've downloaded from our Jansen Art Store into uh, your uh, Samsung tablet. Now, we have lots of tablets. We have iPads. Uh, where you know There's a lot of tablets out there, a lot of different types of mobile devices. All of them are going to have uh, some transfer things that are slightly unique, but we'll generally follow this. We'll show you some how to transfer videos with uh, iPads and stuff in a separate video. But for this, I'm going to be using, uh, this is one of my favorite tablets to use. This is the Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, Tab 3. It has a 10-inch uh, screen here, and I, I just love this uh, this machine. It does a lot of the core work on my paint table, plays videos. We put all my uh, study photographs onto it. Uh, it even plays music out into different boombox speakers into the room uh, through Bluetooth. It does a lot of different things. But let's first, let's talk about how do you transfer information from, say, one computer or from one device to another. The one thing, this is one reason why I like the Samsung. Uh, the Samsung, um, at first you have to take off this uh, little uh, this little holder here which up here into the uh, the very corner of this, into this holder here. Let's pop it out of its holder here for a second. These are your little uh, media devices, and I've showed you this in other little videos. Right here is its little card slot, and uh, there's a card sitting inside of there right now, but you open this up and you drop this little card. It's a micro SD card, and uh, that's that card can hold up to 64 gigabytes of information. So the beautiful thing about this, 64 gigabytes, like I say, can put, you can put about 30 different videos on uh, this particular device, which is, so it's, it's very nice. It's very useful. Now, what is that card? This is the type of card that you have here. This is called an SD card. Okay. And you can buy these anywhere. This is a, uh, an SD card. This is a, a, a mini SD card. And uh, this a normal SD card is just looks just like this. And they can go all the way, like I say, they can go all the way up to uh, like 64 gigabytes. For example, here's one of my big ones right here. That's a 64 gigabyte card. It is the same card that you see here. And so this this particular card can uh, hold a tremendous amount of videos. This is also, believe it or not, a 64 gigabyte card here, or very close to it. And well, what happens is that this is a little adapter, so you open this up, if I can get that opened up here. This is the actual the little card here, and this goes right inside the little adapter end here like this. This goes right inside of this little end here, and you push that in. Now these two cards will be the same here, and you can use these particular cards inside cameras. So here's my, my camera that I normally uh, put where I put my card in. You can go ahead and drop this card right into the camera and take pictures with it. Take the pictures out. Uh, of this right here, take this little this little end here, pull the uh, the little card right out of this right here, and put it in the end of your tablet right there, and you'll have that into the tablet. You can also put it inside of notebooks. You can put it inside of other computers. So cards like this are wonderful ways to transfer uh, information, and not only on on tablets and 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 uh, you know cameras like you see here there's other ways and we step back just a moment here and it's like this this is another little device wonderful little device because it interprets uh, languages and stuff this is a little scanner and um, those of you that know me really well know I love gadgets and toys. This is a handheld wand scanner. It's brand new. It can save files as PDFs or JPEGs. And again, right here, I push my thumb in right here. Here is the little card. Here's a little 32 gigabyte card right here. Same card that I have, you know, for the other machines that I have here. And, um, or excuse me, this is 16 gigabytes, and I can take this little card, this little card fits right inside of that radio, the micro SD card, it goes inside of this one, I can take that card right there, and I can also drop it right inside my Samsung, so this is a little wand scanner, if I wanted to scan, a, uh, say I go to the library and I want to scan a picture or something like that, get a nice high quality scan, this one scans a huge high quality picture, and I can scan it, uh, and then take that card right out, drop it right into um, uh, into uh, 
this this particular uh, this the Samsung here and look at my my files right away with no problem. So you have that. But you if you want to put it in a in a computer or if I want to put it in a um, uh, you know a uh, camera or something like that, then I'll need to put it into its adapter. So when you do go buy these cards, you can buy cards like this as a 60, as a, as a, a card just like this, or you can buy it as a, a card that's like this as a micro and the micro will come with a little adapter that this little adapter will then fit these other little cards here and you can put the, the cards in together and then uh, use them any way you want. So the card is one way in which that you can transfer information and it's fantastic because and you'll see the card show up on your on your computer. If I go uh, here on my Samsung here, if I go right here, if I click my files here, and then you'll see right here on my device here, let me turn down the uh, uh, screen here just a bit so it's not quite so bright here for us. Turn it down just a bit here. Here we go, right about like that. So here on my device, I can click my SD card and this tells me what is inside my SD card right now inside my machine. The Android, the Flipbook, and these, this lost directory here. And I can go in and, and, and like I said before, I can look inside of here. I have module two uh, education program inside of this and so on and so forth. So I can, you can manipulate that card just like you do anything else. So those files will be there. But let's show you another way to transfer files to your to your little Galaxy, which is, or any of your 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 um, uh, tablets that have this type of thing here. This is uh, just a micro slot here that this uh, plugs into here, and uh, this slot on the on the computer is used for a lot of different things. It's just a little tiny uh, thing here. It looks just like one that you would put together with your cameras and stuff like that. It can be used to connect the the tablet to a TV or anything. Uh, the tablet can connect to TVs many ways. That's that's all in the future. But uh, then on the other end of this cord is a USB cord here. So what I would do is take that and then if I have a notebook or another computer at here at the end of the notebook, I would go ahead and plug this USB right in here into the end of the notebook right through here, which we'll go ahead and, and uh, do that here. And then we'll set that up here and what that'll do is that will, uh, as soon as that plugs in, you'll see a, a kind of a screen here come up. So as you can see here, this screen says David Jansen's GSPS uh, P5 uh, 210. That's just my little tablet. Now I'm going to go over to my computer. I'm going to click that. And then down here, you'll see in the portable devices, you'll see that little Samsung player there. So I'll click that. Now you'll see same thing I just saw on the tablet screen, the card and the tablet here. And again, if I click the card, you'll see I have those same files, the flip book that's in there that we looked at and, uh, you know, the Android system and so on and so forth. So that's on the card. On the tablet itself, it shows you how much free room I have. And inside the tablet, though, I'll also have these other directories. And this is the one I want to look for, movies. Let's transfer a movie today. So in here, I'll click the movies. And here you can see I already have uh, some of my movies on here, DVD 10, 58, and 59, so forth. Let's reduce the screen down. And let's just move it over to the side here for just a second. On my desktop of my computer, I have some uh, DVDs that I've downloaded here from the store. And I'll just move that to the screen. So here's Painted Simply. Uh, this is the little Vireo from the uh, Summer Bird series. And I have it in a PDF, and I have it right down at the very uh, bottom there as a, um, as a, uh, a video. But I'll make the, them a little smaller here, and now you can see them. They're about the same size. So this is my tablet files right here. And over here on the other side is my desktop. So now to transfer, I'm just going to push and hold down the mouse button the left mouse button and drag it across just like that and you'll see the file here will start dragging across. First you get this warning, uh, convert it. You don't need to convert it if you get just going to convert it to a file for Samsung uh, which will actually reduce the quality a little bit. You just say no, just copy and 
uh, that's all you need to do all of our videos all of our videos are uh, high quality videos they are HD videos they will play on all these different kinds of devices so you really don't need to uh, go through if you get those kind of warnings to uh, copy it now sometimes with uh, uh, Apple that's a bit different you need to you know to do that with Apple but all of our videos play on all Apple devices play on all uh, mobile devices and stuff should play with out converting and some of these software programs just say convert it automatically uh, you know so uh, you can just uh, click on that right there that just says no and and not uh, worry about it and then it's going to start its transfer and then as soon as that is uh, all done that file transfers right over there uh, into uh, that particular that section of the movies and on some of the other videos that I have here on downloading files and stuff and some of the other I show you what the Sam can do you can just play the movies right from there you can use your movie player you can do whatever and play your files and enjoy your files so you can transfer any kind of files you can tra transfer pictures you can transfer PDFs transfer uh, um, these uh, mp4 uh, files uh, HD movies any of the files that we sell here on the Janssen art store you can transfer immediately just like that so you can transfer them by the card you can transfer them just by plugging your uh, your 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 uh, uh, card or your excuse me your tablet right into your notebook or into your uh, desktop computer you can also transfer them right over the network which is another way so those of you that know how to do the network that's how I transfer a lot of my files as well it's just right directly over the network you have to set up a sharing thing that's a whole other thing but these are two easy ways for you to transfer your files to your Samsung so you can enjoy them and that's the way I truly recommend these types of ways too I love the cart because it's just there and it's a copy and it's there and there's no problem with it okay if you have any other kind of questions Questions, look to more of our educational videos at the uh, Janssen Art Store and Global Art Supply and Janssen Art Studio. Okay, and we'll look forward to showing you some more examples of high-tech gadgets in the future. Thanks for joining me and have a great painting day.